So the first one will be, do you ever get to spend time with other analysts or cast members from the ESPN betting shows like Daily Wager? I imagine it'll be fun to watch one of the games that you all made picks for together. Um, I do see them when I'm in office, but obviously everyone has their lives out in Vegas. So I would only be able to see them if I was in Vegas. We need to set up a time or dinner or something to sit down and actually hang out. But honestly, again, they have their lives in Vegas where I'm going out there for work and I'm like, let's go, let's go to a bar, let's do different things. So that of course is always troubling, but honestly, I will say in terms of ESPN as a whole, there's been a ton of people that I work with that I hang out with outside of work, especially when I'm up at Bristol that we'll go and watch uh, games together. Shout out Stefania Bell. She always invites me over to her house, which is very, very kind. So everyone definitely is always ready to go out for a game, which is really, really cool. Second question. Do you like going boating and going on yachts, sailing water sports, like jet skiing, riding, wave runners, parasailing, kayaking? I think isn't jet skiing riding. I think jet skiing and wave runners might be the same thing. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. In terms of all of that, yes, I do like being on the water, not on a boat. I get seasick. Yachts, I also got sick on a yacht one time in Miami. That that was a work trip. I wasn't just hanging out on a yacht in Miami. Uh, water sports, no. I'm going to be honest. Feet in the water, not body in the water, unless I'm just jumping in the waves and jumping out. I will say jet skiing. I'll, I'll say jet skiing, wave runners, whatever. My friends and I will get on them and then go over to some of the bars that, where you can pull up on the sand and things like that. That's really fun. Parasailed once in North Carolina, hate heights. Not gonna do it again. Kayaking, too much on the arms. I was a runner, so me doing anything with my arms is just not, not enjoyable for me. <laughs> All right, someone else asked, how did you enjoy NYC? So I made the mistake of posting that I went to New York because I was in New York for 49 minutes. I went for a meeting, drove all the way there. It took me four hours. Uh, the traffic was absurd. And then I drove right back after. So I was there for 49 minutes and I made the mistake of posting that I was there because so many people from work even reached out to me and were like, why did you not reach out to us? So uh, lesson learned, if you go somewhere for 49 minutes, do not post that you were there. <laughs> uh, someone else is a good question. I had to answer this one because I just, it was so just to the point. Do you ever take a break? Uh, no, <laughs> except for, I would say the summertime is finally like July. Like as much as I am on shows, I'm shutting it down. Like I'm already studying for NFL. When NFL season starts, people do not understand this. I worked every single solitary day. It might say off two days on my schedule. There is no way that I'm able to take off, let alone 24 hours during football season. That is the only time where I genuinely put on blinders. I don't see anybody. I don't go out. I don't do anything. I work, work, work. And I genuinely, I like that, but I have to work on my burnout a little bit because at the end of this season, even though the Eagles were in the Super Bowl, I was like, this season has got to end just, just from a work perspective. Um, all right, last question. Would a beach date be your first date? No, my first date would be um, anything that is at a sporting event. So like a Phillies game, a Sixers game, Eagles game, I would say even a Flyers game because it's the best place to go for a first date because you're watching something, you're not staring at each other. And then you just have this like normal conversation where it's just, you can talk about the sport, you can just talk about what's going on in the game. It's very easy, it's lightweight. I would never take someone to the beach for a first date. You're you're half naked, why would I ever do that? That's that's a terrible first date, I would not do that. And plus, what if you start getting sunburned and the person's like really fair and they can't handle the sun, someone gets sun poisoning. It's There's just a lot of cons that can come with that. Whereas I think going to a sporting event would be the best, best first date. You guys should take my word on that because that's that is a good one. All right, guys. Well, that's a wrap for this episode of the EKD Show. I appreciate you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully this was fun for you guys. And going forward, since the NBA is over, I'm probably going to make all our upcoming episodes about the NFL. I'm ready to deep dive into the NFL, talk about all the breaking news. We'll go through all the divisions, the conferences, Super Bowl, um, Super Bowl odds, MVP odds, all things, breaking it all down throughout the, throughout the offseason. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, rate, comment, all, all the words that you guys know go with that. I'll catch you back here next Tuesday for the next episode. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.